Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker, Dean Hop Realtors. Today I'm in the small town of St. Hedwig, kind of on the northeast side of the greater San Antonio area. I got some clients who want to be out in the country a little bit on a minimum of five acres, and this lot behind us might be just what they're looking for. Let's go check it out. This is a very flat lot. Looks like some of the stuff's been cleared. Um, there is a floodplain that runs in the back of it. That's going to be interesting. We're going to be working around that a little bit. Not on the main road. It's nice to see there's another five to 10 acre lot right over there. And if you hear in the background, lots of chickens in the area. Because yeah, the uh, wife is interested in having chickens. And there they are over there talking to Trevor from Stallion Custom Homes. Uh, they're probably gonna be using him if they go for this lot. So yeah, this is a really nice lot. Um, I'll kind of show you where the floodplain is. Actually, I'll just put the survey at the end of this slide but lots of little what i call baby oak trees out here there is water to this property so no need for a well that's a huge plus we do have some nice homes right around it which is also another nice plus because you don't want to be building if if they were able to get this lot for a decent price and the house they would build you're still looking at probably close to like nine hundred and fifty thousand to do kind of what they're wanting to do to it uh, there is some stuff as a realtor I'm going to ask if they go through with this ask the seller to kind of get rid of one of which would be this giant wood pile there because yeah everything's negotiable of course so you have to ask because yeah that big wood pile there that's kind of a pain in the butt to deal with but you do have a house right next door it's a beautiful house nice garage on it and uh, yeah, if you see the little things running across the screen, there's a ton of grasshoppers out here. And once again, uh, my uh, the wife is talking about getting some chickens. And we were joking around. I was like, oh my gosh, these chickens would have a field day out here. We do have some red ants that have caused some little flat spots out here. There's a red ant mound right there. So we'd have to like try to figure out what to do with those. But yeah, that's a really nice lot. We're coming into now, if you see it's a little greener, we're coming back to the area where we're getting, uh, I think it might be a little bit further back here for where the map shows where the floodplain starts. So I know my guys are looking to build like a really nice house and a workshop, maybe even a pool. So that's why we got Trevor from Stallion Homes out here to kind of walk the lot to see if there's room, even with the floodplain, there's more garbage that we need to get rid of, uh, to do what he wants to do. Um, there, I worked with a husband when I was out at Camp Bullis as a pre-deployment training instructor, and he was one of them. And his wife is also military as well. So I helped them buy a different house before. Now they reached out to me to uh, get this project going. So I'm happy to do so. But yeah, now we're getting into, I think we're, we're, it's a very gradual slope. And you see the grass is a lot greener here. I think this is kind of where that floodplain kind of comes through here. And it does definitely limit what you can build in this section. Sorry, my music for some reason just kicked off. Let me turn that down. But yeah, lots and lots of potential. We do, like I said, have some stuff that we'll need to be getting rid of, like this uh, busted up table propane fire grill. Some of this stuff's been out here for a very long time. This grill got to go. And if you can see it, there's actually a lawnmower underneath there. But this gazebo is actually quite nice once we clean, once it gets cleaned up. It can be really nice and I'll definitely request that steak. It's got power to it as well. But coming back to the back part of the property, remember this is five acres, so lots and lots of space back here. I mean, it goes quite a ways back through those trees all the way up to where this wooden fence is here. Another debris thing that I would definitely ask to be gotten rid of. And there's a small creek back here. <clears throat> but 
but no body behind you. That That's a really big plus for my clients because they want some privacy to be able to kind of chill and enjoy this second stage of their life. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get back to where I can show you off the little creek a little bit. Lots and lots of grasshoppers. But yeah, there's the kind of dry creek bed there. But if you look through the trees, more cow pastures right behind us, nothing back there at all. And I do like the fact that they were looking at another lot, but Lennar had bought the, Lennar Home Builders had bought the whole cow pasture in front of them, built a bunch of tiny little houses. And that was also in St. Hedwig, making it really not very uh, desirable to be looking out your front door at all those houses. So this is a lot more pit picturesque. And uh, as you can tell, this is a beautiful piece of land. Does need a little work to it. And it's been on the market for quite a while. And the floodplain issues definitely uh, got to work around. I've got an insurance person that I will be calling uh, later on this afternoon to find out if they built a 3,000 square foot house on this just outside the floodplain area what that insurance estimate would be. Here's another dirt pile that's been there for quite a while and it's got a bunch of dead grasses growing on it as well. So like I said, definitely would need a like a bobcat or something to kind of move some dirt around. But man, this is a beautiful, peaceful piece of property in St. Hedwig. And I really do like, if you're looking for quiet, St. Hedwig's got no real fancy downtown it does give you easy access to everything like the northeast part of San Antonio. We are on the east side of 1604. No, it's the east, east side of I-10. Some oop, grasshopper got caught in a spider web. Oh, that spider went after him. I don't know if you saw that on the camera, but it was kind of cool. But yes, I'm wearing my big boots. But yeah, this is a really neat little area. Uh, like I said, east of I-10 and uh, the 1518 area. Good idea of kind of where we are. But yeah, my clients are kind of looking to do something similar to what the neighbors did right there. And they got a big old fire pit, I like that. So this is a really nice neighborhood. I like the fact that there's like not mobile homes all around it. That is one of the restrictions. You cannot build a mobile home out here but this lot has a lot of potential to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this short lot tour of a five acre lot that's on the market as of early July, 2024. And I definitely appreciate Trevor from uh, Stallion Custom Homes coming out here and kind of give his opinion of the lot and what they'd have to do to make the, their dream home fit on this lot. All right, if you haven't done so already, hit that like button, of course, on subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, share these videos with your friends and family, especially those who are considering moving to this part of Texas and they don't already have a realtor. I'll be happy to help. All right, that's gonna do it for now. Take care, bye.